would be with a graph. So what I'm going to do is take that information that we have and put it onto two different lines here on this graph. Now we'll stick with the color convention we have. We'll do yellow for the cost of the tickets. So if we had one person buying a ticket and it was 850, then that means we actually have a point right about here. And two people buying tickets are 17 and three people buying tickets was about 25 and then four people buying tickets was almost 34 and a half. So you can see that it forms a pretty straight line there on our graph and we could then use that information not only to show how much it costs to get tickets for those people but to sort of predict what it would cost to get tickets for more people. We could see then that five tickets would probably be just about forty dollars, a little bit more, forty two dollars. Yeah. And then we can use that same graph. We'll use yellow or use a white line now. We can actually plot the other information on the same graph then. If we have one person buying a three dollar and fifty cent popcorn, then that means we have a white point right about here. Two people buying popcorn was seven dollars, so we have another point right about here. Three people buying popcorn was ten fifty, so just above ten right about there and so on. And we can do the same thing drawing a line there that will show us the slope that represents the cost of popcorn going up by the number of people. Now if you caught the lesson on rate of change, you'll note that that's exactly what this is. These two lines represent the rate of change of dollars spent based on the number of people spending money on whatever the item is. And also you can see that the line is steeper for things that cost more. $8.50 tickets, that, that rate of change is steeper. It's a, it's a greater rate of change than it is for $3.50 popcorns.